Hello there, everyone. Michael here, playing Miles Edgeworth, Ace Attorney, Investigations. Today, I'm going to be playing case number four, Turnabout Reminiscence. Seven years earlier. A dramatic trial in which the murdering defendant claims that the prosecutor is the true Yadagurasu. Well, that was a dramatic opening cutscene, so where's Edgeworth? Okay, a new prosecutor. That's got to be Edgeworth, right? Edgeworth? Where's Edgeworth? Ah, there he is! Hey, Edgeworth! Ah, but because this is seven years ago... It's not the Edgeworth we know and love. It's actually Teenage Edgeworth. Back when he was young and grumpy and kind of a jerk. Back when he was working for his mentor, Manfred von Karma. Yes, so this is Manfred von Karma. You might remember him from the first Phoenix Wright game. And I'm sorry, but there are far too many ruffles on screen right now for me to pay any attention at all to the dialogue. I'm just on frilly ruffle overload right now. Yes, perfect in every way. That's the Von Karma family motto, which might be setting the bar a little bit too high, in my opinion. But here, we can go around and talk to all the various characters. Well, none of the characters are very interesting, except for old Manny here. How's it going, Mr. Von Karma? Right now, Manfred is going to explain the details of the case. So if you're interested in this case, pay attention. The murdering defendant was caught on tape, but he accused the leading prosecutor of being the person who told him to kill um, whoever the victim is.
All right, way to go, Miles Edgeworth. Proving the murderer guilty. Sounds like a good plan. All right, so now we can talk to Manfred about this case. And it's pretty important, so pay attention. The first time I played this game, I didn't pay attention at all, actually. I was too distracted by the fact that Manfred and all these ruffles are on screen, and then Manfred's doing this really evil grin, which you think would creep Edgeworth out. I mean, if I saw somebody grinning at me like that, I would be totally creeped out. And in fact, I was creeped out, and I was unable to pay attention to all this important plotline stuff going on right now. So we had a murder in front of an embassy. Okay, you can forget the victim. The victim's not important. The victim is just somebody who was killed. And here's the murderer. Mr. Macrell, who was caught on camera. Okay, the Yadagarasu is somehow involved. Okay, okay. So we all know this. Mr. Macrell was the killer. However, he said that the Yadagurasu is the one that told him to kill the victim. So he's putting the blame on Mr. Faraday, the Yadagurasu. The second KG-8 incident? Uh-oh. I think this is the part where the case gets really complicated. Yes, this sounds like the part that confused me. Because it's complicated and I wasn't paying attention. It's very, very complicated. So I will definitely make sure to ask Manfred von Karma about Edgeworth's Prosecutor Badge! Check it out, Manny! It's all bright and shiny! Pretty awesome, huh? Ah yes, that's right. Edgeworth did initially want to be a defense attorney, but now he's a prosecutor! As a student of mine, I suggest you remember this well. The badge is not meant to be flaunted. Fine garments? Manfred, I think your clothes are the things around here that are preposterous. Not the idea of wearing a badge. Yes, well, it's incredibly obvious that Miles Edgeworth is taking fashion advice from Manfred von Karma, seeing as how they are practically wearing the exact same outfit, just with little color variations and things like that. And now we're going to learn about the second KG-8 incident. Or actually, no, not the second KG-8 incident, Okay, this is the original KG-8 incident. I'm gonna explain. Three years ago, Ernest Romano's secretary was arrested for being a smuggler. Yes, CCU, she was going to testify about the smuggling crime ring but she was killed the day before she was going to appear in court. And that's basically it. That's all you need to know about the KG-8 incident. The case which is very similar 
to the case that Edgeworth is currently prosecuting. This is interesting information, but like I said, you don't need to worry about the victim. That's just a little bonus information. It doesn't really come into play during this case. What does come into play, however, is the noble thief, the Yadagarasu. So let us ask about the Yadagarasu. And that should end our conversation with Manfred von Karma. Faraday? What does Mr. Faraday have to do with the Yadagarasu? Oh. He's the prosecutor in charge of the Yadagarasu case. I wonder if that's a good idea or not. And speaking of Faradays, it's Kay Faraday! Back when she was a little girl, about ten years old. Kay looks so cute with her incredibly strange hairdo. Uh-oh. She's upset Manfred von Karma. You do not want to upset Manfred von Karma. If you do, he's likely to attack you with a taser. Or threaten to get you fired, which is what he does here to the poor bailiff. Alright! It's time for Edgeworth's debut on the courtroom scene. <laughs> 